Hey, what's up guys? Derek here with JCon Systems. Today we're going to take a look at a photo cell and how to take a photo cell and upload some code and make an LED dim and get brighter using the photo cell. And we are going to be using an Arduino Uno with the breadboard, some jumper wires, and resistors that we actually got from our JCon Systems beginner kit. So let's get started. Here we have the Arduino Uno with the breadboard. We have a 10K resistor, we have the 330 resistor, an LED, photo cell, and our jumper wires. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we are going to be uh, making today. This is an image of what we are going to be doing. And here is the schematic. We have the analog voltage. We have the LDR, which is our photo cell, going to uh, power and we have a resistor going to ground. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting this together. Let's begin by connecting the power. And notice right now we do not have power going to the Uno. We're gonna wait till the very end. Connected it to five volts. We will take our photo cell, there are two prongs, they are non-directional, so it does not matter which way uh, they plug into the breadboard. Let's go ahead and connect our 10K resistor. And we will take a, let's take a yellow jumper wire, and we will set that uh, to the uh, Arduino A0, that's the analog in pin. So first of all, we're gonna move it from here, just past here. And now we can, I guess, connect it to the, uh, the board. In the A0. And next, let's go ahead and take a black jumper wire and we will connect the black jumper wire to the ground. And we will connect it to the other side of the resistor. The so one side we have going to the photo cell and the yellow uh, signal. And right over here, we have it going into ground. Now let's go ahead and we can take a, another jump wire, we'll take a black one uh, for the ground and we will set up where the ground is going to be for our LED. And we can take our 330. Uh, resistor here and this is non-directional so it does not matter what direction we put it in. We'll connect it to the power and we will also connect it where we're going to be connecting on the board and we will be putting that in the digital pin 3 on the board. So we have that connected in our breadboard. We'll take the blue jumper wire and plug it into the end of the resistor here. And uh, we'll go with zero, one, two, three. Put it in our Uno. Now we have the LED here. We notice one prong is longer than the other. The long prong, the long pin is the positive. That's the common anode. And we want that to be at the very end and that will be connecting to the end of the resistor and the short pin will be going to ground. So we have everything set up with the Uno to our breadboard. Let's go ahead and plug in the Arduino Uno. Now we have the Arduino software open. We want to go ahead and click on tools and we want to make sure we have the right serial port connected. So in this instance, COM4. And we want to click board to make sure that we have the Arduino Uno selected. 
we can go ahead and come to file examples come down to analog analog in out serial click on that and it actually generates code for us and uh, we didn't follow the code specifically we changed one pin we changed the 9 to a 3 yet we still kept the a0 for the photo cell and the LED is coming out of pin 3 we can go ahead and send that over to the UNO now when basically when I touch uh, get my finger near the photo cell it should be sensitive it's not really responsive uh, earlier we actually uh, we put a business card in here to shield the LED from the photo cell to make it more more sensitive and we notice it's still not very receptive to to light uh, let's go and take a look at the code and see if we can do some editing the values we're going to be concerned with are 0 all the way up to the maximum of 1023 so let's take a look and see what our readings are so we take note here of the sensor equals and it looks about 47480 all right so I'm gonna do something for fun I'm gonna say instead of zero I'm gonna change it to 200 and we'll say the maximum is for fun we'll say it's higher than the 400 so we'll say it's 500 let's go ahead and upload that again to our our board give it a second and you see as I, I get closer it's a little more responsive to touch you can play around with the code and make this more responsive more receptive keep in mind the business card or something to shield the light is a little better because it's uh, the light the LED tends to um, overwhelm the photo cell so we keep that that business card in there and it's more receptive to touch. Uh, well, that's about it for the tutorial today. We hope we've uh, been informational and uh, you'll be able to find some more information on our tutorials page about this specific tutorial. Thanks. We'll see you later.